Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It's that moment we've all been waiting for. It's dramatic, as you can tell by the lighting, but it's time for our season preview. Uh, this season, in my opinion, could be one of the most exciting ever. I think that four teams are all in with a really good shout of winning the league. Only one of us can do it. Who's it going to be, Mr Skillen? Uh, well, let's hope it's Chelsea. Uh, definitely. You know, I, I agree with you. I think it's going to be a lot more difficult this time around. Any professional you talk to always says it's, it's far harder to retain a Premier League title. Obviously, we won it in such um, such you know convincing fashion last season. But you know, Man United have really upped their game with their signings. Arsenal, as we all know, have finally got a decent keeper, and they're they're out to they're out for blood. Um, and even you know, Man City and Liverpool as well. They're, they're going to be more dangerous this time around. So I agree. I, th I think for the neutral, it's a more exciting mm. prospect of a season than than the one before. But um, certainly for Chelsea fans, it's going it's to be very interesting. Jack, yeah. looking yeah. forward to the season. <coughs> Confident for this season. Confident, always confident, Rory, you know that. Um, but yeah, totally agree with you, Charlie. I think it's going to be a much tighter race this time round. I think the other three teams in the top four have all improved over the summer with their signings. And um, I don't think we're going to have it as easy as we had, certainly in the first half of uh, last season where we were wiping teams away. Yeah, I can't yeah. see that um, being as easy this year. So yes, looking forward to it. Yes, Chelsea are going to win, but <laughs> tough. Tough. So, yeah. Well, do you know? Do you know what's going to be interesting when we speak about last season and what a brilliant, fluid season it was? Mm. What we need to kind of compare it to is this season and the players that we've brought in. Can we do it again? We were on the pre-season tour. Yeah. You, you know, you've seen the new players come in. You've seen some leave. Yeah. What do you think about our transfers? Well, I think we're we're a little light in terms of the business we've done over the summer. Um, saw saw some people uh, in the USA tour. We saw. Begovic, he got a bit of a run out one game. Um, hopefully Thibaut, you know, doesn't get injured and stays <laughs> in goal all season. Uh, no offence, uh, Begovic. Um, and we got glimpses, didn't we, of Falcao. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there were, there were some signs in the America tour that actually, you know, this guy's still got some talent left. You know, he's not a, a wreck of a man. No, no, absolutely. Um, you know, that, that he looked at Man United. Charity Shield, he didn't look all that. But... He looked hungry, didn't he? He looked hungry. Pinging the penalties away, mm -hmm. he was up for it. Yeah, first uh, first man to step up in the penalties uh, both times. Yeah. You know, we've got one top corner, one bottom corner. So, yeah, uh, happy with him. And what about, what about this suggestion then? Not exactly a new signing, but if he were to f find form, it would be a, a equivalent to a new signing. Victor Moses. Yep, I thought you'd mention him. Um, he was a revelation. Uh, absolute, uh, did not see that come in whatsoever he was the best player on the pitch in in every game he played I thought yeah. I think you you agreed yeah absolutely mm. I suppose what that brings us on to now are other clubs other clubs business um who's a big threat for us I'm very worried about Manchester United um we've discussed this before Charlie I yeah think we're in the same boat here yeah yeah you know, I think as a Chelsea fan you, you know we're right to be worried about Manchester United it's gonna be very interesting to see if it all clicks together, you know, there's still questions to be raised about their defence. Still unresolved yeah. saga with David De Gea and their goalkeepers and, and you know, if they bring anyone in or if, if he indeed stays at United. For me, they certainly look the biggest threat. Mm. Um, forever we're hearing about Arsenal finally getting it together, this being the year. And to be fair, I think their starting eleven could match pretty much any team in the Premier League. Um, it's just, you know, it's st we've still got that question over Arsenal's mentality in terms of lasting the distance mm. or, you know, or having a dodgy spell and then picking up when, when there's nothing to play for. So if I were to <laughs> ask you both, I'm mm -hmm. going to put you on the spot now, I'm afraid. Simply one club, to who do Chelsea have to finish above this season to win the league? Got to finish above everyone to win the league. But who, who, if we don't, <laughs> who, who is it that we have to finish above? Manchester United. Jack? Agreed, Manchester United. So what, that, what, we, what I need from you is, do you agree with the boys? And I'm actually going to make that a hat-trick of Manchester United. Who do you think is our biggest challenger for the title this season. Do you think it's Manchester United? Do you think that their signings are going to prove crucial? Or do you think that Manchester City, you know, they finished second last year, uh, they've, they've brought in Sterling, they've brought in Delft, do you think they could launch a, a threat? Or do you think it's going to be Petr Cech and Arsenal? Please comment below because we need to know what you think here. This is, yeah. this is your channel, so <coughs> we really do need to know what the general consensus of Chelsea fans think in, uh, in, uh, to do with this question. Um, so I suppose what that brings us on to next are your aspirations for Chelsea for this season. I think, I think the Premier League is the holy grail every year. Yeah. I, I'm desperate yeah. for the Premier League. Um, obviously, you know, there's, there's other dreams. But if I were forced to just put my cards on the table for one thing, I would say the Premier League. Look, I, I think that always has to be the goal. 
always has to be the first uh, objective of any season is to try and win the Premier League title. That was clearly the case last season. You know, I think they have to set the stall out to do that again. Mm. One dis massive disappointment for every Chelsea fan last season was the way we went out of Europe. I'd, I'd want to see a, a vast improvement in that area. Obviously, you can never tell with the draw, and obviously the time, mm. the, the time we won it was full of like twists and yeah, turns yeah. and surprises. But mm -hmm. you know, I, I certainly expect to see a better kind of assault on that front. And obviously, you know, Chelsea. Um, what I've always loved about Chelsea, and Ma almost Mourinho in particular, is he's got such a love for the cup competitions. Yeah. We've got such a great <coughs> history <coughs> in cup competitions. Yeah, you know, disrespected. No, exactly. And, and I, I'd, I'd be distraught if we saw. You know, Chelsea put a complete nothing side mm. out in the Carling in the League Cup, or you know, and so realistic aspirations in a nutshell from the Skillen. Um, win the Premier League title and be in the Champions League semis. Realistic aspirations from Jack D. Um, it's got to be win the league. I don't mm -hmm. think we sh can ever approach a new season not planning on winning the league. Mm -hmm. um, I've got to agree with everything Charlie said. Really, um, you know, the next thing after winning the league has got to be the Champions League. And, um, Can we win the Champions League? Do you feel, I mean, again, I'm obviously mm. putting you on the spot, yeah. and I think the year that we did win it was, f as Charlie pointed out, was full of twists and turns, yeah. and nobody would have said in the November of that season that we could win the, uh, the Champions League. No. So. Well, we probably weren't even the best team. Well, we weren't the best team along the way. We, no. we sort of. No, no, well, well we, didn't even, we didn't even finish in the top four of the Premier League that season. No, like, we did win the FA Cup. But, so it, anybody can win it. Yeah. Mm. But. Speaking realistically, realistic aspirations, yeah. not not fan. This this is I'm right. asking you to do something very unnatural, which okay. is disassociate from being a fan to being a pundit. I a guess. Pundit, right? Okay, put my Gary Neville yeah. hat on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it'll be a tall order. I don't think it'd be very easy. Um, you know, I'm not going to go with the, the traditional gung ho. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to win. I think if we do win it, it will be a massive achievement. Of course, uh, I, th yeah. I think, I think you know. I would like to see us get into the uh, the latter uh, knockout phase, as Charlie said. A semi final appearance would you know would be a minimum. But once hopefully. you get to the semis, anyway. well, that's it. Once you're in the semis, you know you're thinking about the cup. So we can totally do it. We can definitely do it. But it's a tall order, and um, you know the draw has got to be kind to us. You know, True. if we can avoid you know the Barcelonas, the Real Madrids, etc. Mm -hmm. And have a nice journey. Just meander through to Milan. Yeah, yeah. just meander <laughs> through. You know, we'll have a couple of, you know, games against a couple of Peronis Genk on the or way. someone like yeah. that yeah. along the way. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I disagree. I, it, I mean, when I'm, it's very difficult for me. But again, I'm going to try and not be too. I'm going to try and be objective. But I honestly think that we can win it this year. I really do. I think that Mourinho is such an intelligent man, is such a ma magnificent manager yeah. that he would have learnt a lot and as a club and, a, and as a squad of players and as a manager, we would have learnt so much from that run last season, so much mm. from that defeat against Paris where, let's be fair, we got it completely wrong. Yeah. That I, 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 I go to sleep every evening and I genuinely <laughs> think of lifting a trophy in the San Siro, which is sort of Mourinho's old home, isn't it? Yeah, well, it yeah. is. So it's it kind is. of you really know, he, stars. He, he Mourinho won, will go home and lift the trophy. He, yeah, he won the treble at Inter, obviously. I'd, I'm not saying we don't have the quality to win the Champions League because we, we definitely do. My worry is that the squad depth isn't there to um, to go on two fronts. So your fronts. fear is injuries? Your fear it's, is it's, it's, fatigue it's, and injury? It's then. just the general squad depth. You know, I, I think we, we went through a bad patch last year where we used kind of the same, almost almost the same 11 players the whole time. We, we saw kind of the, the drawbacks of that over Christmas. Yeah, and, and it culminated in a 5-3 defeat to Tottenham, didn't it? But that's mm. sort of the point I'm making. Do you not feel that... I think we played, it was four games in about 10 days, three yeah. of them away from home. And by the end of it, one of them was away at Southampton. We got a lucky draw. Yeah. Then we came back and was, we got smashed by Tottenham. Yep. Do you not think that Mourinho will have realised that his error in, in that was not rotation? And yeah, but, but now, I mean, I mean do, do we have that quality that we did through in the kind of the, we de we've got a much better first eleven. but in terms of the kind of the 22 or, the, mm. or your kind of first 15, 16, if you like, and... You know, we, we all know because we've all been. You know, Chelsea have been in the last stages of the competition lots of times. We all know that when it gets to April and you might be in the FA Cup semis as well. We all know you've got these mental amount of games in like yeah. ten days. I worry that this we're current not. Chelsea squad doesn't have the bodies to cope with that. Yeah, that and is a really good point. And it's and it's fingers crossed on Costa, isn't it? If Costa stays fit mm. and he's scoring goals as he was, you know, beginning of last season, then we're laughing. The fear is if his hamstrings go. Remy uh, gets injured and then gets injured. Yeah, this down to Falcon. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is that's that's a fear for me that the, mm. the This Champions League chat was wonderful. 
I, I really, I really enjoyed that because that's <laughs> actually too, a mate. chat that was impromptu. It's not on our, it's not actually on our cue cards. Uh, so cheers for that, lads. What I want to <laughs> know from you guys: What do you think? Can we win the Champions League? Do you do you agree with me? Do you think that we have it in us, or do you do you think that say Jack D has nailed it and Charlie has actually subscribed to Jack's theory that perhaps it could be a season too early? Please comment below and let us know, and uh, be sure to t tune into part two. Go on, champions. We're here for Chelsea fans' channel outside Stamford Bridge. So I'm with Rory and Charlie. So Chelsea have just lost their final pre-season game against Fiorentina 1-0. What were your thoughts on the match tonight? Um, you know, the result in these games never, ever matters. I was really surprised with the team that he picked in the first half. 